fifth episode already. We've explored the house. I think we've explored the other side of this house. Let me check the map for a second. Wait, why is there a... Uh, a pin here? Oh, okay. So this is like, it doesn't have any, anything to do with the map. And the area here seems to be a dead end. Maybe we'll find... Oh. Oh, wait, that's the same area. Oh, from the other side of the house. I see. This is like one continuous... One continuous area. Wait, I can see something shining in this bush. Hang on here. What is that? Oh, did you look at that? Cheers. Mm. Refreshing beverage. Who would have thought? It seems that I'm writing those into existence. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. We're not done. <clears throat> Optional investigate. Oh, we're done. Oh, we're actually done. That makes me so... It makes me so happy. <laughs> no, seriously. Imagine walking around here forever. Uh, what? It, we, we got lots of... Stuff for these rhymes here. Uh, dark substance... Hero doll. Okay, the dolls go over there. The the dolls. We got this doll. Sure. So we got three dolls so far. We got the two rhymes. Uh, who are these? Who made them? And it also goes oh. here. Just kidding, that goes uh, here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Brightfall. This has to go here. <clears throat> I mean here. I mean here. <laughs> This goes here. I'm not exactly feeling like Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> I'm feeling like Sherlock stupid. Uh, found at the bridge near Cauldron Lake. This goes here. Okay, I put all uh, the clues I have. Put them all up. They're up for grabs. And I think take the car back to Bright Falls. We did ever I hope I hope uh, we did everything. More of those kids' lunch boxes. Okay, we didn't do this. Obviously you're going to succeed or else you wouldn't you wouldn't be the hero. Duh. Wait, is this for I mean from from Logan? It could be from Logan, from our daughter that you know the the and Saga doesn't know that she's dead. I mean, maybe she isn't dead. I don't know if she's dead, but... I'm gonna assume there's... There has to be something weird with it. <clears throat> we already heard the, the echoes of her daughter somewhere in the... What is it called? The tunnel? Where we went to the other place. So her daughter might be dead and trapped in here. Or she's imagining it. This could be that could be the other explanation. From wait, didn't we? Yeah, we already read this. Thank you very much. And also thank you very little. 
container. I missed the container. How do we open this? That is not fair. How dare you dangle this carrot in front of me. Knowing full well that I love carrots. <laughs> no, just kidding. I don't love carrots at all. But are we going to come back here or... Uh-oh. Maybe we can go into this house. I can already hear the crazies. So this looks like we're gonna need a key, right? And uh, I'm going to assume that if there is a key it shouldn't be very far from this box. This isn't like an overly complicated game or anything. And then there's the code to the computer. I mean, there's like a login password <clears throat> or pass, pass key, I guess. That we also haven't found yet. Wait, did I check this table? There's a table on the other side as well. I don't think I did. Good, I came back. Uh, which one is... An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex, and the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it, where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. So this is a little bit stupid if we, uh, If we find a note, and then it goes into this menu and doesn't tell us which the note is that we found. We got enters the lake, I think. We got the, I don't know if we got this. The fuse was in place. Yeah, we got that. We opened the cauldron, lake overlap. We burn away the dark substance. No, that, that must have been it. Must have, we must have read, I think we read the right one. I'm just a little bit annoyed that I'm not finding a pass... What is that? A passcode. Nope, I already searched that one. Let's check this house out one more time. Seven twenty one. 724, 725. There's nothing else in this house. We got the weird footprints. 
of the wolf. They went upstairs where we found the last doll. Two on one. This is just weird. Oh, wait, this is a. Is this for a case, maybe? No. And we have nothing to deduct either. I guess we're just leaving. Yeah. I just don't like leaving things unfinished. We're leaving two things here. One of one of the boxes that's nailed to a tree and the computer. Over here. I mean, there's a post-it next to it, but we can't... We can't check it out. So, <clears throat> no clue. Maybe we'll come back later and we'll solve it. Or maybe it's meant for... Maybe this game has a, a new game plus mode. Could also be where you just, uh, you know, you, you, you got a key where you open additional stuff or one of them maybe is the code. Or uh, maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> I think it's Maybelline. I'm pretty sure it's Maybelline. It looks like Maybelline. Alright, we're leaving. No, we've never been here. I think. <gasps> New area. Another locked box. Hot diggity dog. Rock, rock, tree. Are you bright enough? Rock, rock, tree. So we got the tree. What the hell is that? Doesn't do anything, I just wasted battery. What's this supposed to be? So we're not getting a number on the rock? Six plus two is eight. Oh, plus three. Three, uh, so three rock. Three, 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 two, or three, three, six. rock maybe it's a different rock maybe there's two rocks so here only two shines here only three shines 
The upper one is uh, dull. It doesn't. It doesn't glow. It doesn't have the je ne sais quoi. It just. Oh wait, they got a new area. There's a rhyme over here. God damn it! I mean, yay! A mother crow sits in her nest. <clears throat> A mother crow, so the nest would be in the tree, right? Guarding her babies, doing her best. No, the babies is uh, here. To protect her home from the beast coming to feast. But only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. Makes sense. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Life gives you lemonade, you make beer. Cheers. Oh, it's enter. And with enter they mean space. So we're turning on the light in the house. Hello. Miriam and Matt, thanks for the lovely hike. Patty came from New York City and loved every minute of the trip. Lori and Bob, these paths have seen better days. Kev, nice views you got here. Uh, Mr. Lockhart, may I suggest adding some nice rest stops along the way? From your friendly park rangers, do hike and enjoy the scenery, set up your tent, enjoy a nice meal, relax. Don't chop down trees, leave your trash behind, be loud and obnoxious, start a forest fire. <clears throat> that didn't help us one bit. Oh, we got, is there another page? The Cult of the Three. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story, but they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark, in the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth. The real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. Real faces hid behind the masks. Real hands held the knives. Real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. All right. Oh, we got a safe here as well. And what do we have here? Super boring magazine. So we just have a save here. Manual save. Oh yeah, saved four hours ago. <laughs> Let's overwrite this here. And there we have it. <clears throat> oh, we still haven't... Uh Let's see, cases. We, we didn't solve all the nursery rhymes. Near Cauldron Lake. There's two more here. Oh, wow. Oh, no, these are strange dolls. Uh, Bright Fall rhymes. One, two, three, four, five. Don't tell me we have to search the whole area and uh, look for those. We want to complete it. Now that would be boring. Oh, and the, the jerks have already arrived. We can't open this, right? No, can't open it. I like how these guys are just following me. And at first I go through the area and it's fine. And then when I want to go back... 
it's hell to pay. So we got, let's see, plus three, plus two. Maybe there's one more. It said rock, rock three. Are you smart enough? Rock, rock three. Plus two, it's plus. See, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Oh, wait, maybe if I reload the game. If it's a bug, then maybe it's gone. Now, why did it save here? Didn't I? Save at the thermos bottle. Yeah, oh, we're picking up the manuscript again, guys. Yeah. How to dig a dog. I wonder what it Children is. Children in Bright Falls <laughs> all grew up hearing stories. Yeah. Manual save. That's what I did. Save three minutes ago. Overwrite. All right. I don't think we're finding any other uh, symbols. Let's see if this thing is here is still spinning. Oh, what the hell? Now there's a two here. Now there's a two here. Or maybe maybe the, before there was one two. I don't know. Minus two. Plus two. Minus two. And uh, plus three. So that would be... Where's the, the rock one? Two, minus two. Oh, wait, it's seven. Okay, six plus two. <clears throat> so that would be eight. And here we have five. I don't know. I don't know why just one, one uh, number lights up. Eight, five, and zero. Oh, we can't put a zero in. Let's see. Uh, zero, five, and eight. Zero, five, and eight. No. Five, zero, eight. No, then it is three. Uh, what is it? Two, three, two. Two, three, two. Or it is three, two, two. Or it is nothing. <laughs> rock, rock, three. Are you bright enough? So rock is three plus three, and it's not. So six doesn't obviously work. I'm going to write this down here. So rock, we got three plus three. And the second one is shining. 
three, we got six plus two. Oh, careful. Plus two, it's shining. And down here we got... Can't even look at it. It's a seven, I think. Seven minus two. God damn it, they just spawned here! I'm trying to solve the puzzle and the idiots spawn. What if it's... Oh, they drop loot. Okay. Let's try this. This great puzzle again. Six, five, eight. I thought I tried this before. Are you one of us or are you one of them? I must have done... Uh, I mean, you must have done something wrong. Because I know I tried this before. I guess when I wasn't looking, you were like shifting it a little bit. Like you, you went one number down or up or something. Little, little prank. <laughs> to make it more annoying for everyone. Good job. Great job. You're the only one that counts in the world. So we opened this box here. Oh, wait. We opened this box, but we didn't go all the way to the back, maybe? I looked down at the rippling water. The moonlight danced over each and every little wave, a marching band of shimmering light. <clears throat> Lonely and cold, I hugged myself in sight. I thought of him. Then the surface of the lake calmed, and like a spectral surprise, he was there, his face smiling at me, reflected in the water. I looked up, not daring to believe it was true, but it was true. He was here, my love, my savior, my writer. Okay, we're not going that way. We can, however, continue the cases that we have. The Colt Stash. We just need one more stash here in Cauldron Lake area. We got another case, the one with the nursery rhymes. We need two more rhymes and one more cult stash. In this area, in the Cauldron Lake area. God damn it. Can save the game here. If the saves work, who knows? Seven minutes ago, 59 minutes ago, overwrite. 
saved just now. All right, let's get back to the car. We should have uh, we should have two paths we can follow. Although I'm not sure if this if we can go that way. I feel that if, if we take the long path, we might have another chance to solve uh, one more puzzle. That would be going this way, I think. And then left. No, that's the wrong way. Uh, we gotta go back down and right and then left. I mean straight. I mean, there's still lots of running around in the woods in this game. The first game had lots of this, but in the first game you were always chased. Which made it extremely annoying. And here at least you can defeat the enemies, they stay dead. At least... Uh, you know, for a while, it seems. And they don't just... They don't just always spawn next to you constantly. Like, literally all the time. That's what, what was in the first game. That's how the first game worked. They would just spawn next to you constantly. And you, you would you would consider yourself a happy camper if uh, you got like one minute without getting attacked. That would be a rarity. Okay, and here we can't go back either. Wait, we can. We got two paths. We got the steep path that goes over here. And we got to walk around. I think at this point we've been everywhere. Oh, we've read this before. We did read that before. I need something to cut this. Gosh darn. Okay, you know what? We're gonna time travel from here. Let's see where we end up. One, two, and... <gasps> Bam! Yeah. Can you see it? It's on the post-it. There's the code. <laughs> you can't read it when you shine your light on it. You know, that's like... I've got to show you, right? So if I have a couple of notes on this paper, right? And then I turn my light on and shine on it. Now I can't see anything. You know? It's like in real life. And then it doesn't even turn... Ah! I blind. Ah, seriously. Two, five, four, seven. Oh, there we go. Uh, we're in. Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont. Here is the promised update on the project's first experimentations. The test items used were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, toy 
Carr's baby dolls. The iconographic nature of the test items was hypothesized to be beneficial to these research purposes. Test results negative. See the second one. I have received your favorable review of my project proposal. Uh, and the ba ba ba. I don't know what this radio noise is. Uh, this goes here. It goes down here. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. Oh, this means I'm done. No, it doesn't mean that I'm done. That always goes well. FPC created the rhymes. And what do you want, sir? What do you want, sir? Hmm? What is it that you wish? Sir wishes for something. <laughs> what does sir wish for? Let's see, sir is over there. Do you wish for a beating? Mm. Oh, you wish for one of these. And do you wish for one of these? You don't like them, right? Yeah, he doesn't. Ha he hates them, actually. He actually hates them. Alright. Ah, I'm starting to sweat bullets here. So, we got this. Uh, there's more stuff here, I'm sure. I think these guys are out there outstairs. I think they're outside. If I'm not if I'm unlucky, it's the wolf. Let's see, what makes this noise here? Now it's gone? This noise wasn't here before. Oh, it's in my head in real life. Oh, well, then I'm relieved. <laughs> then it's a relief. It sounds like it's coming from here somewhere. Oh well, you know what? Let's time travel. I think we're leaving here, so let's do one little time travel. It's too much walking around here to, to you know, record everything, and so I don't want to bore you to death. So, let us just leave. One, two, and... BAM! Wait, where am I? Oh, we're at the... Okay, we're at the table where... The guy got murdered. I'm going to be leaving here. Yeah. I have to go, unfortunately. I can't play. Please don't follow me. Do not follow me, sir. We can check out this station quickly. It wasn't beeping before, wasn't it? The, cra the crazies are back here. <laughs> maybe it was beeping before. Warning. Activity detected. A W E. Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. What's an A W E? Casey. What exactly does the FBC do? After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Would you look at that? 
Hot diggity dog indeed. Okay, we're almost at the parking lot. Thankfully, we're done with this area. Didn't find everything, everything, but we found almost everything. That is uh, good enough. Uh, yeah, we saw this before. There's got to be a path. That somehow we can... There we go. We got almost everything. It's good enough. Otherwise, we would be here forever. We would not be enjoying the game. We would uh, be enjoying nothing. That's what we would be enjoying. You ready Alan? to go? Ellen's already in the car. I guess we're gonna get back because there's this one door that needs like a bolt cutter or, or something. So I guess we're gonna be back. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped, that's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's a... Uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Hey. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you I, write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense.
with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? I don't know. It doesn't seem like we can do anything else in here. Good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait, this isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay, you got me. Good prank, very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Well played, man! That is spot on! Playing the role here! Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark, doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the, uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this Hero's Journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. Man, yeah. thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> Always talk of meta-narratives. 
kept expecting to disappear once this scene ends. <gasps> Hello? Very cool. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. And he doesn't I have a flashlight. To, to Alice. Yay, we get to play Alan. Yay. Wake up, Alan. Wake up. Wake up. So this game better not leave us with a <clears throat> with a cliffhanger or with a double what cliff. What was that interview? Double cliffhanger. Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. I can't see anything. We're not leaving this way. Definitely not leaving this way. Oh, there we go. In between with Mr. Door. That's his... That's his room. All old gods of Asgard. Old gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Yeah, that's the band from the first part. 665, Neighbor of the Beast. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? My interpretation of many worlds, Dr. Cosp Cosp Casper Darling. Oh, we're not reading it. I guess we're not reading it. And here is where we input the code, huh? Hey! I think I've been locked in! 665. Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Neighbor of the Devil. <laughs> 